Good morning, and it's very nice to have you all with us. Um, my name is Drikus Krik. I'm the Dean of the IDC, the School of Management. And I'm also a professor of leadership at the school, responsible for leadership and also uh, personal development. And let's call that here amongst us as HR professionals, the softer parts that people often call that, although we all know very well that it is much more the harder part. And the little uh, intro between soft and hard is what we will come back to in a little while. I'm also joined by Ivan Papic, who is uh, the director of the Bled HR Association, who is joining us today because this program and this project is run and the initiative is run jointly be between the IDC and also the HR Association. So I will give him an opportunity to introduce in a little while as well. However, first of all, also just a word of welcome to you all for joining us. It is indeed a very nice and exciting program, something that we all think has been long in the making and it's also very needed for quite a number of reasons and that the relationship between the association and us is also something that we build on and it's been growing in terms of how the relationship and association also work between us. So it is nice of you all to join, nice for your interest and also for considering the program and I hope that you will also take a lot out of today's introduction into the HR Leadership Program, as we will explain. After these words of welcome, over to Ivan to also welcome you on behalf of the association. Um, thank you, Drikus, uh, for your um, um, introduction uh, words. Um, welcome also from uh, Slovenian HR Association. Uh, Drikus already mentioned, my name is Ivan Papic. I'm the president of uh, Slovenian uh, Human Association uh, Board. Uh, with, together with the um, partnership with IADC, actually we tried to, um, and we created this uh, program in a way to address um, uh, all HR managers to start uh, speaking the language of the boards and, and directors. Uh, usually, uh, we we have a lot of uh, chances, let's say, when we see and we theoretically say, okay, um, HR should be a strategic role in company. But in many cases, what we saw, it's more or less uh, administration role. And uh, why is this? Uh, of course, we will say, okay, first of all, it's important that the management recognizes HR as a really strategic partner and director of the board or the president of the board should be somehow open to the HR. But on the other side, also a crucial role is uh, on um, our side as HR that we learn how to speak the language of the board so that we can understand, I don't know, strategic plans of the company so that we can uh, uh, know to interpret uh, financial results of the company so that we actually can prepare it, first of all, understand it, and later on prepare it, adequate um, proposals, to how to support, let's say, company strategy in next five, ten years, and in in this, uh, in later on, IDC will present you the program more in details. It's a, a idea to to actually to prepare you or to show you what is necessary in uh, this way to be more successful. Uh, to sell uh, HR ideas to your directors, president of the board, uh, and become more competent as the HR management on the other side, actually um, push HR role in uh, really strategic uh, waters. 
Thank you for now. Thank you very much, Ivan. And perhaps just to share with you what we have in mind as an overview of today's procedure. Uh, as you would see on the agenda, just the words of welcome, as I already expressed to you, and also that of Ivan. And then I will give a brief presentation of the HR Leadership Program, uh, give you some indication of the focus uh, in addition to that what Ivan already mentioned. And we will finish off with some very brief words on how to go about the admission and the enrollment process. And also just uh, as you would see there, introduce you, uh, maybe not directly or electronically, but at least for you to know that uh, such as Jupan, our colleague at the school is the executive education advisor for this particular program and then how to get in contact with her. You will see that it is uh, an hour that is allocated, but we will probably not take up all the time. We are aware of your time and really kindly also and appreciative of the fact that you spend some time with us and I will introduce it to you and it may not take all the time. So perhaps to start off by saying uh, what the intent of the program is in addition to Eva. I remember very well uh, many moons ago when I did my MBA at the moment when we were about to enter into the class, our very first class in management accounting, the guy who was in my group who walked in next to me and we actually, it was a double door, so we worked in kind of simultaneously through the door. He gave me a little bump on his shoulder and he said to me, if you want to have a seat around the table, this is what you have to know something about. Now, he may not have been correct that the management accounting will give you the seat automatically, or that even management accounting or mathematical and financial subjects would actually guarantee you success. But I think the point he wanted to make is that in the world of business, the importance of understanding the business side of a business is a critical skill that we need to master. And I think it's very much the same also for me, having spent my life in the world of HR and leadership, and also to know how the whole discipline has developed over the last few decades, that the importance of HR and leadership development professionals in particular into different roles in organizations has increased significantly. And the responsibility on people from this field to be able to work and operate and also contribute on the level of strategy, on the level of the business uh, part of running a business has increased many fold. Yet, sometimes we don't necessarily get across all of these elements in our preparation and our training and some of the degree programs that we take in entering into the field. Yet, we make a huge contribution in terms of also helping and developing people and helping the HR function within organizations. And it's because of this that the HR Association, the IDC, joined forces to say, but how can we contribute in assisting HR professionals to add to their existing skills and also to advance and utilize the fact that they already make a contribution to even make a larger contribution to their organizations? so that not only in the way in which they use and operate within the HR function from a more strategic and also business-related element improves the work of the HR function, but also to take HR function and be able to use that and sit around the table and have a seat around the table to a level 
that also contributes more significantly to the strategic function that HR professionals can play in the business. The other day, I had a PhD student with me in my office and a very successful businessman from the region there, let me not say whereabouts exactly, but uh, somebody who has contributed significantly to business and society and probably has been successful to the point that he may not need to be all that involved in work ever in this. And jokingly, he said that when I asked him, what do you need to be a successful president of a board or a successful CEO? He said, you need only two things. You need a very good lawyer and a very good therapist. Now, that if you look at that, both of them actually come from the softer side. So he acknowledges the most important part that we play, but then he go, went on to say, and those things would have to help you to do decent business. So we need to combine these two, and this is what the program is all about. So as you would see there, and without me talking too much, the program is set spread out over four modules taking us into next year it includes a company visit perhaps even in addition to just the single one that's identified currently and we make use of guest speakers to highlight very specific elements in the program while you're also then at the school and the four modules that we have identified for this round relates to those four key critical elements. The future of work and managing people. We need to know if we prepare people for the future to what is the future going to be like. Talk about that and all of the four just a little bit more in a short while. Talk about strategy, specifically the role that HR can play into devising strategy and helping organizations. How to lead change lead transformation, also build organizational culture to be more engaging. And we go to some parts of the numbers and to finance. So let me just briefly discuss the four modules as they then would develop and how it is planned. The first is the one in strategy for HR manager. And in this, we have the services of Professor Nick Benedel, who was the founder dean of the Gordon Institute of Business Science, very much regarded as one of the top schools in the Southern Hemisphere. Also, his work in Europe and in Western Europe and Rotterdam and in the Netherlands uh, specifically is very well established. He's a strategy professor, and he focuses on how to align the HR practice with strategy. He's got a very unique approach to the way in which HR plays a part in strategy as he links that to organizational development, links that to how to create a competitive advantage, and very specifically to see how and share how organizations can use their talent as a differentiating tool and to help them to shape their strategy and very much also focused on how HR needs to play a role in designing and devising ways on how organizations can have a strategic benefit. The next module, actually that would be module two, would be module devised by or designed by uh, my colleague at the school uh, Leonard Filipovic, and he will start the discussion about how to facilitate change. As we all know, these are critical times of change, change all around us, and the way in which organizations utilize their capacity and capability to facilitate change is often regarded as one of the biggest advantages that organizations can have. Therefore, in terms of this module, the first day in January, focus will be on how 
to understand change and the dynamics of change in an organization, and also how to utilize the skills and leadership specifically to be able to drive organizational transformation. In the second part of that module, we will be joined by our PhD alumna, Dr. Alexandra Kreger, who specializes in employer branding and specifically how to use the value that employer branding brings can impact on business results. So from her experience as a very senior executive with many years experience in the field of marketing, especially in uh, fast moving consumer goods environment, she has transformed not only her own career and her own organizations, but she helps organizations transform to become um, much more focused on their uh, branding, both from an employee and an employer perspective. And those relates to how to facilitate change and how to create that culture where in organizations allow space for their employees to succeed so very much part of the HR function. The third module, and this is the real third module, as the previous one should be module two. Uh, our colleague who's been coming to the school and participate on our programs for many years, Professor Philip Stiles from Cambridge University in the UK, he specializes in organizational design, organizational culture, and has got a large research project both in the UK and in Europe, focusing on what the future of work will bring to all of our business. He comes as an HR professional himself, comes with the experience, both in terms of teaching, research, and practice where Judge Business School has got a large link to various companies focusing on their change processes to help us to understand what will be required in the future. And then module four in May next year, our colleague Igor Matlenich from Dokio Finance in Belgium. He's been part of many of our programs focusing on a very practical, hands-on way of helping with financial literacy, understanding the accounting side, management accounting, but also the financial management side of how organizations do business. Specifically, in linking that to the budgeting and control functions to assist HR managers in their own budgeting processes but also focusing on how metrics and the return on investment can be used to measure the impact of what HR is having on organizational performance, what to look for, how do we measure our interventions and how do we link that also to how our contribution can be to the organization. And that means that these four elements thus carries quite a large part of what we as HR professionals do and you as HR professionals uh, contribute to the organization from a point of allowing the organization to understand the future, to know how to position for that future, to know how to change in order for that future to be realized, and then also finally to link that to the financial performance of the organization. So in a way, you can say that the whole program tells a story. It assists in what you do. It's not to say that we're not aware of the large contribution what you do, but it means we just augment and enhance what is already happening in the HR profession by giving them a future on how to position the organization to the future. On a very practical level, perhaps just to say that we will also link the program to a company visit where we will bring you in contact with practitioners, organization where there is uh, some of the strategic HR processes well in place so that you also can be able to connect with that. And in each of the four modules, we will also 
utilize people from practice, people from industry, people uh, from the consulting world to give us very best, up-to-date, best of brand information of what's going on in the field relating to both HR and these four topics. Lastly, how to apply. As what we say, you could just go on to the web. Uh, mentioned uh, Sasa Zupan already, who will be responsible for the administrative support, administrative side, both of the administration part and also beyond. And you are more than welcome just to use this from this, the this, this screen. We will gladly make available this presentation to you if you would like to have that in order to have the information and also the QR codes if you want anything from that side. Perhaps from this side, Ivan, is there anything else that you may want to add? I think, uh, Drikus, you actually told everything, I think, was in detail. So I think they, uh, our future participants can uh, get insight of each module. But as we said, both together, um, this uh, um, academy is actually prepared to, to be more adequate uh, player at the board. Thanks for that. And I don't know if anybody else may have a question, maybe perhaps put that in the chat. I must say I cannot read and open the chat at the moment, but if somebody would be able just to see or read the chat, Sasha, either you or Vladu, if there are any questions in the chat, you are welcome then also to share that with us and I will uh, gladly assist. Maybe just to come back to this as the starting date of the program, envisage that to be on the 21st and 22nd of November this year, starting then with strategy to set the scene in terms of how the HR function can directly contribute to the HR practice. And Nick Benedel teaches that course in uh, Rotterdam Business School, teaches it at Gibbs, and it also teaches it to our uh, DBA students, and will, he gladly also agreed to contribute to the start of this program, so it's very exciting to have him available there as well. Yes, um, good. we have one question. Uh, so yes. Ursha is asking if uh, do we have information which company we will visit? No, that is not finalized yet. We are uh, uh, talking about one or two. Ivan, I don't know if you have clarity whether that's been agreed. I am not. No, I think it's still uh, this, uh, open, not, not finalized. But... Yes. Yes. Anything else, perhaps? We have already contacted uh, two different companies, but we have not finalized their agreement. And we also haven't made a decision which one would be we, uh, most appropriate. Most yeah. It's appropriate. Yeah, it's also kind of like a little bit related on the makeup of a class. So we will uh, share that information with you once we started in, in November. If not, uh, Please keep Sasha in mind. You are welcome to join us on the 21st of November. Actually looking quite forward to see you. Very excited about the program. Once again, thank you to your all, all of you for participating and for your time. And a great word of thanks also to the association and to Ivan for joining and for all of your time. Thank you for all of that. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you, Drikos, and then thank you for uh, everybody to attend this uh, short webinar. Um, wish you all the best and hope to see you in our program. See you Bye. soon. Bye.